Yeah, hello campers, Mark here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to kind of jazz up a, a Google Doc a little bit. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to change the standard bullets that come with the Google Docs into emojis. I'm gonna be showing you how to insert a dropdown. Um, this is an example of a dropdown right here that you could switch it up to different items. I'll show you how to make one of those. Uh, I'm going to show you how to insert checkbox, check boxes, excuse me, um, so that um, you can check things off as you get them done. And then finally, how to insert a watermark behind a document so that you can see branding or something like that. If you had some sort of a, uh, some sort of a picture that represented your team or your school, you could put that into your Google document. So. So I've just got standard bullets right here. You can see, so if I highlight this list and then right click on the bullet, I see more bullets. Then I'm gonna make sure this is set to emoji. It could have been set to symbol by default or something else. I'm just gonna set it to emoji. And then I'm gonna search for an emoji. I'm gonna search for a smiley face. Whoops, gotta spell smiley right though. Whoops. Oh, we'll just do smile. I know I saw it. There it is. And now all of my bullets are emojis. And you know that the world of emojis never stops. So they keep adding more and more and more. Next, I'm going to show you how to add drop downs like this one. So I'm going to go down here where I have a little bit more space and I'm going to choose insert and drop down. And I'm going to make a new drop down. And I can choose the colors that I want. So maybe I want the drop down to be for working. Let's make that a better color though. Working. having trouble let's make that yellow and then need help whoops need help immediately and then i save that and then this could be up at the top of your document for students and then they could switch it up to having trouble or I need help immediately, and then you'd be able to see that because when you assign something in Google Classroom, you can see in real time what your students are working on. Checkbox, check boxes to get started on check boxes. It's up here at the top. So let me give myself a little bit of space again. And the check boxes are located on the toolbar up here. Go to the bank, get lots of money go to the mall and then as i do those things once i've gone to the bank i could check that off once i get out lots of money i could check that off and then once i've gone to the mall i could check that off so that's just kind of a fun thing that you can add to a google document is check boxes okay and finally watermarks i'm going to go to insert and i'm going to choose watermark and this is pretty straightforward I can have it be image or text. I'm gonna have it be imaged. And then I'm gonna browse them on a Windows computer. So it may look a little bit different on yours. Use this as my watermark. I know I'm in Tucson, but this is one of my favorite symbols. And then that's in the background and I can type over the top of it. So it's just kind of, you could add some branding. And you would need to keep in mind what font and style and color you're using in your text as it types over your watermark. But it does kind of wash it out a little bit, so it should look pretty nice. So that's emojis and bullets, changing bullets to emojis, drop downs, things that you could use to indicate your kids are working, uh, or they might need a little help, or they need help immediately. Check boxes, way to make lists of things to check off as you do, and then watermarks, kind of cool branding you can put behind a document.